Hey everybody, this is Mr. Storm, and in this video we are going to work on the Character Creator assignment. This assignment asks us to create a program that utilizes classes to create a new character for a video game. So what we're going to do is we're going to create you know, some kind of control structure that will allow us to choose between, let's say, three different characters. And then those characters are going to be you know, instantiated within our game. And then we can move forward with those characters uh, and you know, data about those characters pulled in from the classes themselves. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> I'm going to organize my brackets here a bit. Let's get rid of the uh, extra statement they give us. Now, I want to start creating my classes right away. So I'm going to create a uh, public class and we'll call this, I don't know, uh, warrior. And let's create a public class mage. And let's create a public class rogue. That works. Okay. Now inside of these, we probably want some information. Let's do uh, string name. Uh, my warrior's name is going to be Brutus. Brutus. Um, let's do um, int health equals 150. We'll say int uh, willpower equals 20. And int dexterity equals, let's say, 50. All right. And then let's just copy and paste these values. Now, in this project, we're not actually going to create a method inside of these classes um, like we did with the lesson video. Uh, that was just an extra thing that I was having fun with. Uh, just to show you what's possible. Uh, in this, we're just going to create just some very simple data that we can pull out of the class. Um, now, when you do your text, your advanced text adventure game, by all means, feel free to create uh, methods inside of your classes that you can pull in and do whatever you want with. Um, I'll probably do the same in mine, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so let's see. My mage's name is going to be... What's a good na mage name? We'll call him... Uh, Morgana I don't know and then my rogue let's call them uh, Swively all right I don't know all right my mage is not gonna have as much health let's say 70 they're gonna have a ton of willpower though 180 and their dexterity is gonna be super low um, let's call it 40 Swively's going to have nah, about normal health. Let's give him 100 health. Willpower, we'll say about 60. But the dexterity is going to be really high. So we'll say, uh, you know, 160 for dexterity. <clears throat> okay, so inside of my game, um, let's create, let's call a character creator method. Um, okay, now inside my character creator method, let's um, create a string called choice. And let's say console.write line. I just want to basically tell my user. Um, you know, let's say choose your character and then let's just do, let's do this paste, paste, paste. All right. Uh, we'll say number one is warrior. Number two is mage. 
and we'll say number three is uh, rogue. All right. And then let's accept the user's input. So we'll say choice equals console dot read line. Okay. Then let's build a switch based on the choice variable. Switch choice. All right. Okay. So let's say case one. Oh. Or case warrior. Let's actually make this two lower. Make it a bit easier. Okay. Um, I'm just going to finish building out the switch here so that I don't forget. Um, oh, I need to make sure I also have a break inside each because without it the switch won't work okay so we'll do two and mage we'll do three and rogue okay so in, in the case that I choose, in, uh, if I choose my warrior, then what I want to do is I want to instantiate a new version of the warrior class. Um, so that's pretty easy. I just type warrior my warrior equals new warrior. Okay, so I've instantiated a, an instance of the warrior class. And now I want to start setting some variables. So um, I want to I want to actually create. Let's let's make some public variables up here. So we have string name, string health. Oh, not string. <laughs> int int health. And we can actually do int health willpower dexterity okay so these are going to be the global values that we're going to use for our character and depending on which character we choose they're going to come in differently so we'll set oh hello name equals my warrior dot name right um, health equals my warrior dot health uh, willpower equals my warrior dot will hopefully you see what we're doing here and dexterity equals my warrior dot dexterity okay so what we're doing is we've instantiated a version of the warrior class and we're bringing in some values from that warrior class and making them local values that we can use in this game. All right, I'm gonna actually just copy and paste because literally it's basically the same. We just need to change some stuff here. So instead of warrior.myWarrior, it's mage.my mage new mage and instead of my warrior it's going to be my mage let's just copy this okay so that's what hap what happens if we get a mage let's do the rogue Rogue, my rogue, oh, my rogue, rogue. I 
Now this thing that you're building, this is absolutely something that you can implement in your game. And and your your characters don't all have to be like named the same thing as mine. They don't have to be, you know, like mage, rogue, warrior. They can apply, they can be whatever applies to your game that you're building. Okay, so outside of the case, once we're out of the the um the um Sorry, the switch. Once we're outside of the switch, let's um, output all of the data about our character. Um, so let's do this. Let's do uh, console dot clear, and let's say console dot right line. Here is your character. Um, and console dot right line name plus name console dot right line Ooh. actually let me just copy and paste Health. Um, willpower. And these attributes can be anything you want to, right? This is just what I'm putting together really quickly. I don't want this video to be super long, but I totally expect you guys to go crazy and go way off, off base here. Were there two versions of willpower there? Hold on a second, that might be an issue. There's a capital willpower. Where have we used capital willpower? Oh, right there. <laughs> Duh, it's getting late. That's only 6, 54 p.m. <laughs> it's late for me, I'm old. All right. Willpower and dexterity. Dexterity. Okay. So now this should work the way we expect. Let's see how many errors I get when I hit run. Oh my gosh. Okay. Warrior.name is inaccessible due to its protection level. Mm hmm. Re. Oh. Look what I did. Look what I did, folks. You remember how I told you that everything that we have inside this class needs to be public or we can't actually access it? This is what you see. If you forget to make these variables public, then you're going to get that. So let me eat crow and just... <laughs> fix this very quickly. So the program works exactly the way I told it to work. I just told it to work incorrectly. <laughs> All right, now let's run it and see how many errors we get. Okay, not so many. That's not bad. So let's see, 63, 64, 65. So we're using an unassigned local variable. Um, so this is going to happen because uh, we are assigning value to the variable, but it may not actually assign value because we may enter something wrong in the default. So what I need to do here is I actually need to give it a value to begin with to get rid of that error, which means, um, actually, I think I can assign the value on all three of these just by doing that. Let's see if that causes problems. Yeah. Yeah, that caused a problem. <laughs> um, let's see. Can I do it like this? Ah, well, whatever. We'll do it the right way. Them shortcuts. You know what I mean? Causing problems. Okay, 
Now the game should work, or the character creator should work. Okay, perfect. So choose your character. Let's choose a mage because they're wise. So here's your character. Name Morgana. Health, 70. Willpower, 180. Dexterity, 40. Which is exactly the data we put inside of our mage. Let's try it again. Let's do a rogue this time. Health, swively. Or no, name, swively, health. All right, so our character creator is working perfectly. All right, um, so I just wanted to make sure that you guys could create new public classes and access the data inside of those public classes. Don't be like me and forget to make your data public. If you forget that, then you're gonna get that big wall of red error, errors that I saw. Um, but again, don't panic. You guys have all seen errors in programs before. We can figure out how to fix them. It just takes a little bit of brain power and detective work. Um, okay, so at this point, uh, hopefully you have something that looks, you know, cooler than mine and does more cool stuff. Uh, you know, implement loops and if else statements and all the stuff you want to make this as awesome as you possibly can, because this isn't just going to be a create it and then it goes away. Just like last week with the character or with the combat simulator we can use this in our advanced text adventure game uh to create a character um and so you 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 know if you use this you're basically already you know working on your text adventure game so make it as cool as possible all righty uh that's it for me i've rambled long enough so i'm gonna head out and i will see you guys in the next week